Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to have even more fun with the Adobe Title Designer because sometimes we don't have to go all the way to After Effects. Okay, in, in this example, I'm going to show you how we can combine multiple effects and then we can localize that effect in one specific area and then move that across. Something that you would normally see done in After Effects, but you know what? Sometimes you can get it done right here in Premiere Pro. Let's look at the example that uh, I have here. We have the word Shazam coming up and we can see these characters painting themselves across the screen and blurring across uh, the screen. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, uh, we've created a title and you do that just by clicking down here and creating a new title. And if we look at the title, it's just very simple text with a gradient on it. Let's select it and go to the effects controls and you'll see a few things in here. You'll see the turbulent displace and a crop setting and a directional blur. Now let's go from top to bottom. I'll turn off the crop. Oh, and echo is in there. Uh, if we look at the directional blur, you can see that there's a blur going from one side to another. And we can use this same technique that I've created without the blur. If we look at it without the blur, you can see the characters are coming together in chunks. And what the blur does is it helps to just smear those together on the screen. If we open up the directional blur and any of these effects, you can just type the name down here in the bottom in effects directional. There's directional blur down here in blur and sharpen, not in the presets. Okay. So if you don't have directional blur, if you don't have these masking tools, it's time to upgrade. Adobe added the ability to have masks and not just an ellipt or a elliptical or poly a polygon mask, but also the Bezier mask. Time to upgrade, folks. There's huge advantages in uh, new versions of Premiere Pro. So let's click on the mask and see the shape. This, I drew this shape and you can see it's this kind of a shape and I've got two different keyframes. So the mask starts at the beginning right here and by the time you get to the end, the mask moves off to the outside. And what that does is it contains this uh, effect within that mask shape. So that's the directional blur. The real one though is this turbulent displace. So let's open that up and you can see I've got the same mask going on. Turbulent displace is exactly what it says. It adds turbulence and it displaces the pixels. So it wiggles and warps and moves this around. This has been in After Effects. It's been in Premiere Pro forever too. But if you don't have the mask, this effect happens on the whole thing. But you can see here's the turbulent displays and it's changing those characters as it goes through again using the same mask. And you only have to draw that mask once right click on the mask itself and copy it and paste it into the other effects. So the turbulent displays and the settings that you have uh, for turbulent displays are the kind of turbulence that's going on. Uh, what is the amount of that turbulence? And you can see you can turn that up and down. Um, what is the size of that turbulence? So all of the, the settings that I'm using are, are right there and they give me that specific effect. So after turbulent displays, I've got crop going on. This is just a regular crop setting. So you can see the crop goes from one side to another because although the other ones up here have an effect that's only in one spot, it doesn't really work because it's not really revealing the character. So I add a crop to this and the crop effect, you can see I've got a right value here, one keyframe and another keyframe. It just simply cuts off the character. So it starts way over on the left and reveals that. So if we turn off turbulent displays, this is all the crop does. It crops from one side to another. Pretty simple. 
And below that, I have the echo effect. And if we open up the echo effect, you can see that I've got three echoes going on. So when I turn on all of these, the turbulent displays, if we turn off the echo, you can see what it's doing. It's adding a bunch more iterations of this. So the echo time I have is 0 0.03 and you can change this value. I just happened to change that until I got something I liked. The number of echoes is three and the intensity I just kept at uh, one and one so that that's the effect you get. It draws that onto the screen. Now I did another one here with a different look and you can see it's drawing on the screen and kind of painting or almost looks digital maybe like a graphic equalizer spectrum an audio spectrum and if we look at the settings over here again I'm using the same crop effect and this time I'm using brush strokes. So just one simple effect is the brush, brush stroke. So because the crop is above and the brush stroke is below, the crop isn't... If you put the crop below this, the crop would actually stop that at a hard edge. And you don't want that. So the crop is above the brush strokes. And as the brush strokes are created, it looks again like it's painting those onto the screen. And the values I have here uh, for, and again, it's the same kind of mask that I've got moving from one side to another. And the paint stroke or the brush stroke settings, the angle is at 90 degrees. So normally uh, it's at uh, something like 157, I think, or something along those lines. It's supposed to uh, emulate the shape, the uh, painting of the hand, but because I have mine at 90 degrees, it's a little bit more digital, again, more like a, an audio spectrum of drawing that in. And you'll notice the red line some of these things are not going to play back in real time. Things like the brush strokes, that is not a, uh, a real time effect. But you get the idea here. You can create some pretty cool looking uh, title animations without having to jump all the way to After Effects. Just using the built in stuff right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, there you go. Some really quick, fun title things you can do with the title designer and a couple of layered effects and those masks inside Premiere Pro. If you don't have those tools, it's time to upgrade. Creative Cloud really does have some extra value. All right, thanks everyone for your wonderful support on Video Revealed. We really do appreciate it. Um, if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take your, your support to a higher level, support us over on Patreon for as little as $1 uh, a month. Please, you can afford 12 bucks a year and uh, give us the kind of support we need to help to keep uh, creating great tutorials like this. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.